Ladies and gentlemen, Cedric Dumbe, victorious. It took all of nine seconds for you to make a statement here in the PFL Smart Cage. You caught the kick, you landed the left hook, and then the right after it. Is this how you envisioned your PFL debut? <laughs> hey. <laughs> First of all, for French people, hey, je vous invite du quoi? Y a personne qui peut me test, moto. Car en premier round, on n'en parle plus. Des matchs pitaya, ils regardent les skis. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, that's one of my best preparation uh, I ever did in this combat sport, and um, I feel I felt very great, very great. I felt on shape, everything right settled. You know, to to knock him out. I knew, I knew that I would knock him out. Of course, I didn't knew that it would take 10 seconds, but I, I was pretty sure that he, he wouldn't pass the first round. So that's why I expect, of course. I want, to, I want to turn toward the monitor here. I want that replay to run again, and I want you to walk me through this entire fight. You know, this is my specialty. You know, I'm a kickboxer, and all the time when someone kicked me on the body or high kick on the head, I used to, you know, to trap his, you know, to take his leg and counter with the right or all the time with the left. So, you know, he just came into it, and that was easy, easy. You acknowledged that this was the most pressure that has been put on a fight, right? You sold out this arena. Everyone's here to see you. Everyone expected you to dominate, and you delivered. What does that say about you, that you can deliver on all of this hype? Can you repeat? Can you repeat? What does it say about you that under all of this pressure, you came through with that performance? You know, I have more than 80 fight. 80 feet. <laughs> I have no other anti fight, and uh, you know I used to to fight against uh, such a big crowd like this. I, you know, I did kickboxing championship in front of more than 20,000 people. I used I used to have the, the this type of pressure even more than that. You know, I fought when I fought back in the day, Nicky Holskin, he was undefeated. I fought Mitch Grona, uh, Johan Kongolo, big guys, you know, strong guys. The pressure was insane, and now you know Jordan Zibo is not the level same level as them. The pressure was high because of, you know, big people right there, you know, Gims, Kiki dans la maison, all the, you know, the PSG team, Salah Adil Parnas, hey, excusez-moi, j'ai oublié tout le monde, Blackie, hey, il y a trop de gens, gros. I, I forgot, I forgot some people, but, you know, the pressure is high. Everybody is watching this fight, you know, so that's why, you know, but all the time, I'm the best, I made the West win. All right, you're now 5-0 and oh as a professional mixed martial artist. So what's next for the best? For the best, you know, it doesn't matter what some people used to say, I never decline a fight. Peu importe ce que, y a de, que des gens disent, jamais je refuse un combat, poto. I never decline a fight. So anyone, I don't have to call out anybody because I'm the best. They have to call me out, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shut up, man. <laughs> so next for me, you know, it doesn't matter. I think, I will not say I want the bet right now. I want to, I want to, you know, I want to add something in my highlight, you know, I want more knockout in my highlight. So, same power force, I don't want uh, the belt right now. <laughs> Are you ready right now to jump into the PFL global season and chase the $1 million championship? Oh, they're ready for me if I jump in the, <laughs> in the tournament. I'm always ready, I was ready. Can I say something in French? Please do. Les gars, c'est une dinguerie. Pourquoi n'a-t-il pas vérifié les angles morts <rire> Pourquoi n'a-t-il pas vérifié les angles morts hey, Franchement, juste, seriously, sorry, I want to say this for Jordan Zibo, j'ai envie de dire ça pour Jordan. Hey, lui, il n'a rien à voir dans ça. Vous savez très bien qui a pris ce chaos, ce n'est pas Jordan. Vous savez très bien qui a pris ce chaos. Celui qui a pris ce KO, c'est celui qui frappe sa femme, qui frappait son ex-femme. C'est lui qui vient de prendre un KO. Voilà. Donc, Jordan, a lot of respect for Jordan. Jordan is a good fighter. He's very young. Jordan, il est très jeune. Là, ce que je lui ai dit, what did, why, why did I, I told him? I told him that he's, he's still young, you know. 
I want him to forget this, uh, this defeat, you know. I hit hard. I'm very strong. I'm stronger than him. I, I want him to forget. Je lui ai dit, hey, gros, oublie cette défaite. Je me la raconte pas, mais je frappe trop fort. Je suis trop fort que toi. Je suis plus fort que toi. Non, sérieux. Je lui ai dit, je suis plus fort que toi. Oublie cette défaite. Je veux surtout pas que tu arrêtes de t'entraîner. Tu as des capacités de fou. Continue de t'entraîner. Écoute tes coachs. Et ce que je demande, et ce que je demande, c'est, je veux pas que cette défaite, elle t'abatte. Les gens, ils vont continuer de t'encourager. Les gens, ils ont rien contre toi. Oui, on a crié, Jordan, t'es mort. Mais on va continuer de l'encourager. We still support Jordan. Et ce que je vous demande, c'est tout le monde sur les, sur les réseaux sociaux. Je veux que personne l'éteigne. S'il vous plaît, envoyez-lui de la force sur les réseaux sociaux. Allez le follow. Demain, si vous voulez, vous le follow. Mais voilà, c'est un bon gars, Jordan. Allez donner de la force. Enfin, c'est un bon gars. Je sais pas, mais voilà. On dirait. Congratulations. It was an honor to call the fight. Cedric Dubé, ladies and gentlemen.